Okay, so uh, nobody wa okori poi is ni tsuari kino mitsuketa ano bu sui okina hon o yonderu. Bu atsui. Bu atsui. Uh, Hi. Um, nobody was sitting on the chair that was uh, dusty. He was he was reading the large thick book that he had founded uh, yesterday. Perfect. Iri de. Hmm. Iri to. Nebri ga kao o ageta. When I've, um, I wait when when I waited at the entrance. Nebri face uh, he lifted up. Hi. Uh, ocha da yo. Here's tea. Koko uh, made matte koi. Um, mot mot mote koi. Uh, bring it here. Bring it up to me. Uh, never wa so it's so it that. Uh, kushami o shita. Kushami was a, a sneeze. Right. Different type. Uh, nobody, he said, he said that, or having said that, he sneezed. Uh, yuka ni majutsu no dogu ga um, to scatter about. Right. Jirabata mama na no de. Uh, ore wa uh, ai da o nu, nu yo ni shite heya o tsukiri o cha o washita. Uh, na no de is, is, the, um, is the because, right, Mani? The therefore. No de the does mean because, hi. So, uh, mama na no de. Um, so because the magical tools was currently indicated by the mama, like like up till now, or still in the state of scattering about the floor. I have I um I do two actions first. I do two simultaneous action. One is Ida o nu nu yo nishite. I weave across the space, and I heya o sukiri. I crosses the room as I weave as I weave through the spaces, and I hand it over the tea. Ocha o wash. And what does yoni sudo mean as a grammar point? Yoni sudo. I, uh, yoni tsuru. Yoni tsuru. I continue? That's a good guess, but it's not really continue. Um, I, I say it's like gambaru. I, I, I make an effort. I, I, I try. Hi, uh, nobody wa cup wo uketote. Nobody received the cup, text into his hand, and he yuki the yuge, yuge o suiko suikomu to. Uh, when he inhaled the vapor, the hot, the hot vapor, uh, he then mata. 
Kushan Miyo, she rubs his, uh, uh, sneezes one more time. Right. Or I guess it's sneezes yet again. Yep. And Hanka Chi, that Hanao Fuita, he wipes his nose with a handkerchief. Fui, fuita. Okay. Uh, orega, tsui, uh, orega itan uh, sagari. <clears throat> uh, here, itan referred to the small amount or the small uh, space to which uh, Khan, he uh, retreated himself. And shibaraku doa no soba ni iruto when he was by the door. And shibaraku here is the adverb describing iru. So when he was a little bit by the door, I mean mm. that he was just there for a brief time. Yes. Brief. When I was briefly at the door, uh, uh, um, nobody asked uh, tokite kita, and he asked kozo nanda. Hey boy, what is it? Um, kita kita. Kita kita. Um, that means that this kita referred to a ask the question at me, towards right. me. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, mo skushi hokori o uh, harata. Harata, he referred to wiping with some sort of a tool. It just means to wipe. Uh, ho gai, to wipe, to dust, to dust. Yeah, yeah. Clean, um, harata hogai, um, a little bit of um, dusting away, uh, would be good, right. but here insinuating, would you like to, or would you have a preference for, right? Should but I he, wipe the room a bit more? Should I wipe the room? Oh, he referring to the room, not nobody, <laughs> <laughs> could be nobody. <laughs> But probably the room. Hi. Isu and but, the books and I, stuff that are hokori I still, covered. I was still confused from the last chapter because he he was his his clothes was full of dust. Oh, oh it, this it was. Is the, this is the following day already. So right. he's talking about the room now. So uh nobody wa my you all he saw me he raises the eyebrows. Um, as a surprise, I guess, I think. Um, Kagan, Kagan, so neat. So, so neat referred to an, um, an adjectival. Uh, and, that, and here is adjectizing the noun Kagan. So, so, Kagan so is a adjective. You are correct in that. But we have me here. Me turns nouns and e adjectives into adverbs so kegen soni is describing the way in which nobody mitas okay so so is an adjective so kegen kegen was the kanji was the kanji or the on reading for um something about well, one moment money i remember so one was strange and the other was right. mysterious um, which is uh unusual. Hi, right. Kagan means puzzled or hmm. It's like the hmm noise. Hmm hmm hmm. hmm? Oh yeah, that's Kagan. He puzzling. He's, he gave a puzzling look at Hi. me. Hi. Right. So he so met it. We saw is not totally lift your eyebrow. It's not more like tsugiyageru, which we have seen in this book. Hisomeru is to wrinkle your brows. But it can be also be used to raise, I guess. But it's more of like a kind of scowling normally. A frown. A disapproval look. Yeah. So the idea is that his, his eyes should be like, Wah? like more like this kind of face. Then he's not, he's not making this kind of face. Right, both of these are puzzled right. faces, but he, he's making them more like, like the huh, puzzled than a what. That's why he, uh, hmm? <laughs> it's, it's the uh. that kind of puzzled than the what. 
it's, uh, it's grumpy. Yeah, it's a She's more grumpy, grumpy puzzle. <laughs> it's, it's a grumpy puzzle. Hi, hi. Hi. He he met it, huh? He right, right? Hi. He so met it. He so met it. Hi. Okay. Know how to read this kanji? Uh toma tomaru. Perfect. Tom and how about this little phrase? You would say Tachi no warui. Uh we were we were bad? We were tired? Warui does mean bad, but is there a period there? I hear it say Tachi no warui kaze o hite. Right. Hiki ite. Hiki. No, it's just he. The key is from hiku, it, right? Ku turns into uh, ite in pair form. Hi. So the ku, the ku. Okay, no ku. Ite. So we caught. Hi. We caught a, a bad cold. Yes, a bad cold. Correct. Tachi no a bad cold. A nasty cold. Okay, let's go read the line from the book. はい。そうすれば。そうすれば。くしゃみが止まるかもしれないよ。Okay, so here he used the eba construction. Hi. If. Yep. The generic if. Here we have a su. Yep. Following so. He had just changed that soul into a verb, from a noun into a verb. In that way, but here is su. So if I do I, that. Exactly. If I do that, if that is done. Kusami sneezes, tomaru kamoshire na yo, might stop. There's right. a chance that it stop. Yep. If that is done, then sneezes might stop. You might no longer sneeze. He veiled his intent behind his <laughs> caring for the... Um, <laughs> he might actually care for nobody. Who knows? <laughs> Okan <laughs> li likes <laughs> nobody. He thinks he thinks nobody's cool. He's like, this is my magician oh, boss man. He's going to teach me magic. Khan, he feeds me food. Khan is quite happy with um, nobody. He's like, this guy's awesome. Otherwise, Khan would have like jumped for the hills if he didn't like somebody. He'd be like, see ya. I see. He's fond of him. Uh, kono, kono kushami wa that sneezing. Kono? Hokuri no se. Kono, this Hi. sneezing. Okori no se de wa nai. It is not the is not caused by the dust. Say imply causation, right, Moni? Hi. Say is the fault. The cause. Hi. Tachi no barui kaze da yo da na. Now he's saying that the cause is actually is the bad cold. Exactly. Perfect. All bad. Ta it's a bad cold. Oh, you touch. So, tachi. tachi no warui means nasty. Do you say it's an evil cold or a nasty cold? Right? It's like that. Na warui on its own is bad, but it's normally bad in, as in the word evil. Um, I don't think you'd really say warui kaze on its own. Maybe. I'd have to Google it. But but I, um, more normal. I wonder what because it say that warui and that no there is that whatever that tachi is is modified warui and the only other time I came across tachi was wash tachi the pluralization function of that mm. tachi unless That's it's a, another with the no as well it shouldn't be a noun directly be a ga tachi no warui. Tachi ga wari. Like, tachi can mean like body or something. 
I don't know. I'll 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 look that up. That is an interesting question that, to pick up. What does he soulmate do you mean? He soulmate is not a surprise look. It's a grumpy look. Salt wrinkle. Um, do you know how to read this bolded word? Is foo ki ken. Yep, foo ki gen. Gen. Foo ki gen. Ki gen is um a chance. That's a good guess. Um, this Keegan um has to do with um your mood, Keegan. So um, if someone's annoying, they say e Keegan ni shiro, which is funny. It basically it literally means behave yourself, right? Shiro meaning do it. E Keegan, uh, be on good behavior, basically. And it's always translated as stop that, because that's what I mean. Stop fooling around, because that's what the what we say in English. Mani, why, why is it shiro and not shire as in the imperative form shire of the Shire isn't the imperative of suru. The imperative right. of suru is shiro. Oh, is that is that an irregular? I think it's irregular. Most of the other u and is in e, right, Mani? For imperative? Yeah, it's imperative. Like, it, it's, it's irregular. It's but it's irregular. definitely just okay, shiro. So. Um, as far as like what it would be, theoretically, it just would be shi, right? Because it, the imperative form of taberu, right? It's just tabe. Right? And in general, suru conjugates more like do verbs, right? Like shimas. So the stem form would be shi. But you can't just say shi. So that's probably why they added the role, perhaps. Ah, uh, maybe that makes sense. Maybe, maybe. Um. So yeah, the tachi from tachi no warui tachi is this kanji down here, which is used to refer to um one's disposition or character, like your personality. So the the personality, <laughs> like tachi ga. Wadi, right? The personality is oh. bad. So the kaze, the the cold personality is bad. So nasty. But money tachi here isn't kun reading, I'm guessing. No. That's an on reading? Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know what the words mean. Tachi is it on its own. It can also be read as shitsu on its own, but if it's married, its pronunciation is something else. Um, it's Shitsu. It's Shitsu from Chichumon. You're right. Um, Hi. So one is the Kun reading. Tachi is a Kun reading by itself. It's a single reading. Right? I think um, so. Yes. Tachi is how it's read on its own. But so is Shitsu, I think. It can be read as both ways on its own. Um, it just depends on what meaning you want. I see. Uh, in general, so like, C2 says that it's normally a suffix, but theoretically it's the single reading. According according to the dictionary, it doesn't, doesn't label things with the kun and on word, so I never know what those words mean. But touchy is read on its own. Um, that's the that. personality, touchy. Again. Okay. Oops. Let's go read. Eh? Do you koto? Um, so here he put e you koto at the end eh? of do. Hi. What to do? From to you. So he say do as in what? E you koto. So this construction. This is gr a grammatical construction, Wani. Um, I need help. Right. So, to iu um, comes from iu to say with the quotation to, but it is used in Japanese when it's between two things to normally mean to define as. That's what this grammar is used, to iu. 
here the toe has been dropped like it commonly is with question words like naniga for example not you would say like nanika and stuff like that like like different like nannies and stuff a lot of times you won't have a particle afterwards and that's the same thing happening here with dole there's there's no particle because it's been dropped but the particle is to do to you koto which would be odd to say because it's dropped by default so we're defining koto with the word what koto is used like things or events and stuff and in this context the koto is referring to the previous sentence nobody stated which is it's a nasty cold. So he says, what equals it's a nasty cold? So in English, we'd say, what do you mean? Eh, do you koto? So, I see. But that would be contextually, because we just have what is the meaning of koto, which koto in this context, as I said, is a previous sentence, which is it's a nasty cold. Eh, do you koto? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What is that? I see. I he reply. Mireba gives the eba construction. Wakaru daro ga neburi wa bukigen so ni ita. Okay, so here we see that so, then the ni turn it into an adverb. Right, Mani? Right. Was that ni is a particle ni? Particle ni is ni. adverbal ni. It is not feasibly possible to end up at a location of so, because so is not a location word. It is an adjective. Adjectives are not locations. Um, so that that's not like possible. Um, so the only possible way you can translate the knee is into adverbal knee, because you can't physically go to the location of soul, just like you can't physically go to the location of blue. So if you see ao ni, it's probably not the location of blue, right? Um, the other possibility thing I guess would be saying two, but you also can't say to the color blue, right? That would also be odd because it's an adjective. It's not a thing you can talk to. Hi, here is acting as an adverb. So right. neat. The way in which he it does. Ita, he said. Okay. EU, he EU. Uh, fukigen so ni ita. So he fukigen is is um. We say that he's not, not. Oh, kigen was a was a uh, his his state of health. That's a good guess. It is the mood. His mood. Hi. So an unmood uh, is a bad mood. Bad mood. Like bad he behavior. Spoke... <laughs> All right, so here we have fukigen. This is a noun. Right. Then so he turned it into an adverb. What kind of so he yes. spoke in a bad mood way. Yes. And the reason why we use so has to do with how Japanese writing differs in English writing. In English, you are allowed to make statements. Even if you don't know it's for sure true, you're allowed to just say it as if it's a fact. Like if it said, my mom yelled at me in anger, you're allowed to say that. Like, it's totally fine. In books in Japanese, that's normally not really allowed. If you do not know for 100% certainty what you're saying is a fact, you normally have to add rashi or so or any kind of filler word that conveys slight vagueness because you don't know this for sure. You're not reading nobody's mind because you are con. And the story is told from Khan's point of view. So when Khan thinks stuff, we don't get the so and rashi for his opinions. But when other characters do actions, we have to use so and rashi and yo and all those other, it looks like words in order to convey that this is a assumption that the main character is making. Um, so in English, we wouldn't really translate the so if you were writing this in like a novel, because we don't do that. We don't do that 
making a difference between assumptions and the narrator just knowing things for a fact normally so you wouldn't say oh he said this while in a way that sounds like he is angry like we wouldn't really say that in english we just say he said this in a in a in a way like he's in a bad mood he said this in a annoyed tone of voice or something you know one, we wouldn't convey uh, that mon mondai wa i have a question hi 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 so if this was nobody speaking in his mind, right? Suppose he's not. This is not an observation from Khan. If this was nobody, right? Um, how would we turn that fukigen into the adverb? You just would put the ni there, fukigen ni. You take off the soul. This can fukigen turn fukigen nouns into adverbs. Um, I don't I think you'd really say that because you would probably use a different word to be more specific with the feeling. Because fukigen in itself is normally used toward others it's like oh he's in a bad mood but it's not normally used in i'm in a bad mood as like a, for the word itself just randomly but if you were to do that it would just be the the so would be dropped and you just would have me because me is what turns nouns and not adjectives into adverbs because nouns and not adjectives are grammatically the same in japanese mostly um, the only difference is that we can have na thrown in sometimes, right? Both of their te forms are just de, for example. Um, I I see it so na, so, so high. This is okay. he's, he's answer in a way that seems to be right. moody. So, so, exactly. From Fukigen. Hi. Uh, 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 he said he say that if you look but this is a general category of eba. he's not saying when you look he's saying if you look wakaru, you will understand you come exactly. to understand that all he say probably he say you perhaps he's looking down on the boy so, so there's a little bit of like should is probably how we'd say this. If you'd look, you'd under you should have you should understand. I I think, um, but this in itself is kind of a saying in Japanese. Mireba wakaru, mireba wakaru daro. That basically means like you should know this. This is obvious. Like duh. Like it's a like I I I know we have a saying in English that has that same meaning, but I can't think of it on top of my head. But it's just like shouldn't you already know? Like. But in I, Japanese, if you look, I can't think of what it is. We don't use the word look. I feel like if you used your eyes, you'd see it. You'd see it. Can't you see? He, this, maybe? I, he's saying you tell the by looking? obvious. He's saying this is That's obvious, what it is. right? He's, yeah. Can't you tell it? just by looking? It's probably the English saying, I think. You didn't look at it at all. Oh. Isn't it obvious? Looking? Isn't it obvious? It should be obvious, I believe. That's a that all got kind of adding here. Because it's like, what, what do I mean that I have a cold? Shouldn't it be obvious? Um, Because he caught a tachi no wari, a cold with a bad personality. Mani, uh, it's a, a phrase or a sentence that N would have got is this had the same effect of dot, 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 right? Yes. That is the dot, dot, dot. Yes. He expecting a reply. He expecting Khan to fill in the blank. To some extent, yeah. It, it, that, that is what it's used for. Hi, hi, hi. Um, it would depend on the context. Here, um, nobody's continuing the talk. Like, he trailed off with that ga. And then he's continuing to talk. But in conversation, that can definitely be used that way. Same thing with, like, so in English. Um, you can use so to drop, fall off the end of your sentence for someone else to continue, or it, it just it's like a softener. Ga, <laughs> um, that all would be very aggressive. That's <laughs> how I'd say that sentence. Um, Money. Quick question. Mon Monday. Mon yeah. Well, uh, or wa motte Monday. I think something. Uh, like you that. should I say Shitsumon. It's so, mondai, as like a word, 
feels either like a problem on a test um but shitsumon is more like the kind of question you have in class there's also like gimon which means you have a problem like emotionally with something if you have a problem with that so monda is not really the right monda is like problem one is Japan located in Asia or something like that? That's a Monday. Chitsumon is That's a very big kind of class. Hi. Chitsumon wa moteru. Hi. Um. Uh. Oh, what what kind of a uh, historical period is the the setting of this novel in Mani? Is like is the... it like is it a time when they already have electricity? In the city they don't or... have electricity because they use magic instead of electricity. I would say this is kind of generic. It's it's not medieval fantasy. Like it's a little bit, I would say, but it's not like modern day. Like no one has a phone, right? It's before phones, but it's after you could say light has been discovered because they use magic lights, right? Um, but they're still sending letters to people. So there's no magic phone. <laughs> <laughs> Getting like Wait, the, do, they have ma- do they have magic cars to send they those letters? They don't do have magic them? cars. They do have boats. Uh, <laughs> boats do exist. But it's... Um, this is this is a very different world than our world. So basically, the whole world is a desert, right? Except for wherever there is a town. So there will be a town that happens randomly to have water and grass and stuff flowing and then everything else is a desert wasteland so it'll be a town and then desert wasteland between towns that is um, the Got setting it. of this world i see so when well, nobody it's... was kicked out of the town you're gonna go wander in desert wasteland. wait so in this world <laughs> in this world each town is a self-sustaining community I... they, they don't have commerce they don't have these vast networks yes where different cities Constantly communicating, constantly supplying goods yeah. and services. To they each do other. send letters out vaguely, but it's mostly self-contained because of that. Hi, I see. Um, and and they go into why towns have magic later on, like <laughs> why towns have life in it. <laughs> Wait, so these work as a power source, right? It yeah. powers their their lights and most of their other activities yes so that's why it's really dangerous that the magic is going has been decreasing the amount of magic in the town because it's a sign that the town is turning into the desert it's very dangerous and when this happens normally the whole town will go extinct that's why this is this is more than just like oh i can't cast magic anymore it's like a actual big problem <laughs> there's no magic oh. <laughs> that's okay i'm kind of getting it Fuck at that. But yeah it's, it's okay. somewhere in that kind of i don't know i'd say like the like, like the kind of like when sherlock holmes <laughs> whatever setting that is <laughs> um, they, they still have horse cages. they don't quite have automobiles exactly yet. that that that's about they... the time period i would put this in Hi. Look at that. Early Victorian exactly. steamboat kind of a but not actual, you know, like engines that exactly. run in the boat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my that. That day. Here it is that day is in the quoting or is it saying because? Because is you. That that doesn't really mean because, um, and but uh, that that means even. Oh, like that that. If you start a sentence, it can kind of mean like because sometimes, but it mean it means even is uh, what it's meaning. Just sometimes it doesn't translate as even. In this sentence, even would be how you translate into English, but that that always means even. Um, just sometimes you have a different location that sounds weird in English, but it. It it just means even. So my that that means even you. Even you. Kaze kurai. Kaze 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 kurai. Hita koto ga aro. Hi. So just letting you know, interestingly aru? enough, it's aru 
And then you get that all, right? That all, that means um, probably, right? That all. Apparently, aru and doro can combine together to turn into aro. Is this, which is weird because it should be arido. <laughs> I guess this is that, that they were like, that's weird. So it just becomes aro. So it's just a way to add that daro, but when you have to have a sentence that has adu at the ending rather than da. Aru and daro together. So right. aro all together mean shouldn't it be? Yeah. He's saying, isn't it? Right, Money? He, he yeah. end his question, he end his sentence with a kind of question name. Shouldn't it? Yeah. Like. Uh, you, sh you should have. That even, Shouldn't that, you have? That even I, you, even you, if you were to have the kotoga, if you were to have, have what? Koto. The thing of catching a code. He okay. didn't say catching a cold. He said the thing of catching a cold. Yeah, the event of catching a cold. Right? If Koto you were to catch events. a cold. So if you were to get a code, wait, if you were to get a code, what would happen? Uh, that's not really what he's saying. What does could I mean? Roughly. Yeah, something yeah, roughly. Like something like a cold is basically what it's saying, to the extent of a cold. Oh, um, he's saying you caught a little bit of the code. Aren't you also having a little bit of a code? Close. That is really close. So... What's confusing here is koto ga aru. We've seen it before in this book, koto ga aru. So we have aru, which means to exist. Aru as a tense is habitual or future tense. So normally it's habitual. It's something that happens every once in a while in your life. Like I go on hikes, I breathe, right? It's not I'm breathing right at this moment, it's I breathe. Um, but this is used a lot of times to refer to a current time just by contextually with aru and iru. Um, that's why like me is used with the location. Um, but in and itself is normally more like habitual, kotogaru. So the the event exists, as in it has a, existed to you at some point. Right? For example, um, if you said ni hon ni ita. Kotogaru. This means I have been to Japan. The event of have been in Japan exists for me. Right. But that's you out. Moni, this sounds like a in English it sounds like a past construction. I don't know what about in, in Japanese, but to me it sounds like okay, this has happened at some point in the past. Yeah. The the past part is right over here with the ita. So koto, okay. the, the event is described as a past event. But the event itself exists in your memory. Okay. Current, it's it, happening it is, now. The, the event has is something that is has will always exist. But when the event occurred was in the past, right? Like if you killed someone, that person has will always be killed now. They are now dead. That event has occurred. And is now a part of your life history. Currently. So, Moni, Aru, Aru had the meaning of existence. It exists. Right. Period. Yes. So, if um, you say Atta, so it, that means it currently does not exist. Um, so, you might use that with, like, something that's gone fully extinct. But the memory, the, the person who's caused this event still exists and may do this event again in the future. Here he say that you had had a cold before. Yes. You've had something like a cold before, I'm sure. Not all. Haven't you had a cold sure. before, right? Have you had a cold before? But here he say, oh my that day. Even yeah. you, even for even you, you have know, had a cold before. A guy like you. You even must you... have had a cold before. Right. What to do? That's a good guess. What does naru mean? Become. Naru. What become? Exactly. What become? What happens? What happens? 
understand, perhaps? Yeah, you should understand what happens, right? So, do naruka. This is what he, what God is. You understand probably what happens, what will become, what happens when you have a cold. What is a cold? You, sh you should know. You, you've had a cold. What happens when you have one? You sneeze, you have a headache, get a stuffy nose, those kind of things. This is a word. Nobody... I think... Yeah. He's so mean to Khan. He always speaks to the kid like, like he's an idiot. You don't I know. I mean, he has a tachi no warui. He's like, he's in a bad mood. He's, he's got a tachi no warui concept. Everybody's grumpy talk. when they have a cold. He's like, what, what do you what? mean? I, I have a cold. I have to go read this stupid book to go solve all the issues of everybody. Gotta go feed you. Ah. <laughs> He doesn't have a wife, clearly. clearly. He's too grumpy. <laughs> um, atare. Hi. Hi. atare. What does atare mean? Atare is, it's like, it's, it's, it's correct. It, it hits. It can be used for correct, correct. Um, in itself, it means it to hit or to, like, to hit. And to hit can be used to mean correct. Like, you hit the answer Hi. right on the dot. Ataru. Hi. Um, so, correct. You got it. You got it. So, ataru is a u verb. So, what is the te form of that? Um, it, it, atate, atate. Atate. Claro. So, let's go read atate. this line. Uh, kaze wa, kaze wa ore ni. At ni. Or from me. Let's see. Kaze wa ore ni. Atata. Ataru. Hit. Hi. The winds hit me. Exactly. The wind hits hit me. At... Wind hit at me. What? It hit in the direction Why of not me. Why not all? Why would it be all? Well, that's because Kaze, it, 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 it's all is used if it was going through me. Oh. Right? Like nagareru, which means to flow, right? Kawa ga nagareru. The river flows. So ataru is not to hit something. It is ga hit. Right? So I hit. But it's not I hit Bob. It is the transitive and transitive pair word thing. So because of that, we can't use o. Because we're not going through some, we'd be going through him if we use that. Like I hit through Khan towards something else. Instead, this is our destination of the hitting. The goal of the wind is to hit and land on me with the hit. Mani, Hi. Are, we, are you saying that ataru is a, it takes ga? Yes. Ataru is an intransitive form of the verb? Yes. It's intransitive. Right. So, wait, wait, wait. It, intransitive. So that means that the subject is the one that's doing the action. Right. Kaze. The subject is kaze. So the wind hits. Right. The wind, the wind hits. hits. So that's why we use ni for what we hit and not o. The wind, the wind hits or the wind got hit? It is the wind hits. It is. It is so kawa means river. And nagareru means to flow. Kawa ga nagareru means the river flows. You would not use o here unless you want to say machi, right? This would mean the river flows through the city, right? Because the flowing cannot actually be an action going on to something. It, the nagareru is intransitive. It is the river flows. The wind hits. Um, ni makes this into a destination. So it'd be kawaga, um, soko, kara, koko, made. Like koko ni nagareru would mean the river flows from there to here. So here is the ending point of the flowing of the river. Perhaps it goes into a lake or something, and that's the end of the flowing of the river. So here, 
the end of the ataruing of the hitting is when it hits me that's when it stops hitting is right when it hits me <laughs> is how it's used well o would insinuate it goes through me and that's not really the destination of the action right like fumu fumu is another word like this which means to step on fumu right watashi wa fumu i step on but if you use o here like michi o fumu you're not really doing something to the road you're just stepping on the road like in a over through or door or nuku doa o nuku it means to go through the door, but you're not actually doing anything to the door. So with all these verbs, the fumu, nuku, nagareru, and atatta, these are all in the same category of non, no, no compliment, no, no, no compliment words. It's I wake, not I wake up, Sam. <laughs> all these so they do not take o for actions o insinuates um a location in which an action is gone through and instead ni would insinuate the end of the action so if you want to say i stepped on two like like the step in a puddle or something maybe you'd use ni to be more specific saying once you step on the puddle you're done or something like that so D insinuates the end of the action and O insinuates something the action goes through. It just is weird for Ataru because so, Ataru doesn't mean that in English. I, I'm sorry to kind of because this this point confused me. Um, when when Banette hits Khans in the eye. Right. He uses nag Naguru. That's takes an object, right? Yes. It takes o, like ore, o. Hi. Punches me. Yes. That's like with the word taberu, right? Gohan o taberu. So these categories of verbs actually right. have a, like we would say, a target, right? Uh, yes. A Tabiru destiny. has a target. It has a target. But here, for the verb that does not transit it, that does not transfer to the object, is right. a self-contained action. It happened within itself. Yes. In, in its... I'm wake up. I act within myself. No one else. So the wind is hitting, but it's hitting within itself. It doesn't hit anybody else. Is that a fair statement? Is that yeah, what it's saying? Yeah, I guess. Um, so when you say the door closes, does that mean the door is closing itself? The door wake up and be like, I'm going to close myself. I'm a magic door. The door closes. Door closes. Door closes. I it this it's tripping up because the the meaning of this word is to hit and to hit in English is it means to hit something. But it's like the word suki in Japanese. To suki suki means to like, right? Suki suki is an adjective though. It does not mean to like in Japanese. It is to be liked, right? Neko ga suki suki da, right? Yes. This is just a compliment but, of the word neko. But it doesn't mean I like cats. If I say watashi wa neko ga suki, this does not mean I like cats. It doesn't. It just is saying, well, with me as a topic, cats are liked. So with okay, so ore as a location, the wind hits. It just some things just do not translate one to one to other languages. Um when you say the door closes right? The door, someone has to have closed the door. It could have been the wind, it could have been the gravity, it could have been I, but it doesn't matter. But the door closes. It just, it closes. It, the actor versus non having the actor doesn't matter. It's not I close the door, nor is it the door was closed 
by me it is the door closes it's just the that that's what it is money the only way i can make sense of this atata is that it seems to me that the wind is not conscious it's not unconscious that's it, normally it how is I do not it. it's just it is not the a, wind hits period it's just the wind doing its thing in in a atom in a automaton kind of a way that, that, that's it's not a, a self way to think about it or the door so the, door the door closes door the wind hits closed. none of these are a conscious act right i woke up i didn't will myself to wake up i just right. in the state up nobody woke me up I woke myself up i'm just up yeah earthquake happened uh, it just happened i didn't make the earthquake it just, it just happened okay now like su uh neko ga tsuki Hi. The cat is not trying to be liked by other people. Exactly. He's not making an effort. Like he's just in the state where it's, where it's being liked. It, it, it didn't just it, wake up one day and say, "Love, love me, give me all your love." It, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Hi, hi, hi! I see it now. Okay, so there is no will behind any of this. This is all accidental. Right. I get hit because somebody hate me. So, so that's a had different the, verb. I just got hit because the wind blows with the wind's will. So, so, so. Hi. Hi. Get that. I understand. Hi. Um, what does do... Uh, can you read this for me? Doa o nukeru. Hi. What does that mean? It... It nuke... Nu... 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 It, I kicked the door? Good guess. I it means the... to go through. So, door is a location Hi. that is not the beginning of the action, nor is it the end of the action, as we are just going through the door. It's not oh. a stationary location. Money, I Hi. think the way of explaining earlier was correct. Here it seems that there is some intentionality here. I will myself to go through the door. So, it wasn't an accident, wasn't a happenstance. I think in general, Not you don't have to think about it too hard. The previous one looks works very well when we have inanimate objects for the subject, so you can keep that there. Um, and then just have a different box for when we have it for location through. Like I step on it just when you go through an object, it's not an it's not a location, it's not a destination, right? So we can't use ni. It's not a starting point. So we can't use kara. So like what particle do we have left? Can't be wa, that's our topic. Can't be ga, that's who's doing the action. What do we have left? Can't be to. To means and. And to us is a quotation, so it can't be that. So you're kind of just left with O. So you could have that as your second box of the inanimate object does it. Or it is a location that the action has to, that is not the destination, not the start, and is not the, all the other things. It's the only thing left. So you can separate as those two different uses of O if you want to. Uh, and I think that would be easier for you based off of my understanding of how you're building the box. But in, good case, in this case, why can't we say doa ni? Well, then Again. that means you'd stop right when you hit the door. Your, your, your goal is mm. not to go through and stop right when you land inside the doorway, right? You don't, you don't want to stop here. You want to continue forward till you exit through the door. You have to get through Hi. it. Your destination is not to stop once you hit inside the door. If I see. Door, me, that, that'd be where you ended. I went through and poof, me, I couldn't get hold of me it through, I guess. Oh. You it literally hit it. Yeah. That'd be, you stop the verb at me. Hi. Okay. Like earlier, you say, um, <laughs> Iikigen-ni-shiro. Shiro. You get there. You get to that you state of being You get to the kigen. state of being good. Exactly. 
height. So yeah, there's there's destination and, knee though and adverbal knee of how an action is done, which height. that one could be argued to be either. Um, I think their goal is more of the how an action is done probably, but it could be the end the a- stop what you're doing till you reach the <laughs> good behavior. In general, there's like multiple things for all particles because there's multiple things in languages and don't want too many particles. Kind of like how there's two no's, you know? There's no between nouns. There's no which is actually ga. And then there's no which um, is the logic thinking no, right? That's the no des, right? The no de, na no de. That, that no de. So those are the three no's in Japanese, which oh. are all pretty different. Um, ga no is more related to no and whatever that is. And there's also pronoun no. So there's four no's in Japanese. So sometimes mm. you just kind of have multiple things that are vaguely related, but are separated enough that they're not really the same thing. The logic no, pronoun no, ga turned into no, and no for adjectiving things. Like these two you could probably put into the same category, but pronoun no and logic no are pretty different. Hi. Um, pronoun no is underneath the same con- category as no and koto. That's that, that's th- those two are together, I would say. That's like the same thing. So, so I guess three real differences but you could split it up into different ones so you could argue that with me that there is um location me and then how verb is done me and it's your opinion whether or not time goes underneath location or how a verb is done this is that that's when you start crossing the boundary because these are kind of the same but this is the destination so i'd argue time is underneath adverbal you were putting in categories but yeah however you put pit boxes in your brain is good <laughs> so you can have a particle that has multiple definitions and that's normally how you're taught in japanese classes as them being separate things because it's very hard because of how languages don't translate one-to-one so your concepts are looser or more thick and need more definitions because of that um, but yeah so oh in this case is the only thing left because the destination is not pausing at the door. We continue through the door. Anyway, what does uh, fuki nukeru mean? Fuki, blow. Right. Nukeru, cross. Right. Blow so across. The, the wind that blows across. is a... Yep, the blow across, the blow through. Um, Shotu is a adverb that basically means like certainly or totally like one hundred percent uh like like certainly um I think or it means always I should actually double check that I think it means always I don't think it's oh. no longer to it looks like kanji to me Shochu? Shochu. um it means always <laughs> sorry always always hey. it's more so to <laughs> It was always there. Cool. Um, but that's not what the sentence says. Can you read it for me? Fuite kuru kaze wa soju atate iru. So, this is happening now, iru. Right. And this wind is the wind that had blown here. Right. It blows here. Blows toward me. And it's Blows always. Hi. It's always atate. And this atate is aru in the te hmm. form. Is it? What is the te form of aru? Te form of aru is atte. Hi. Atate is aku. Ataru. Oh, my goodness. Ataru. Um, I thought that it hits me. It always so, hitting so. me. Yep, the wind that's coming toward me is always hitting me. 
Perfect. Mane, I need Okay, you help me again. Aru, はい、aku, ataru. Tab、はい、form. Aku to open <laughs> is aite. Right? Ku turns、はい、into ite. Aru, which is to exist, is a u verb. So it becomes、um, ate.、はい、ataru is a、um, u verb as well. So it becomes atate. What、um, about a meet? What? a u to meet. a u to meet. So a u to meet and all those ones will look exactly the same as a r u It'll be a t t e So in this case, you will normally see kanji, right? So if you see this kanji, you know it's to meet versus this one, which you know it means to match versus this one, which means. To meet, but like bad situation. <laughs> there's, so there's, there's a lot of um, aru for atates.、Um, on the bright side, normally these are found in compound words, I would say. So you wouldn't really see ate as often as like the compound word that would use ate with something else.、Um, but in and itself, au and aru is conjugated the same. はい、わかった。Yeah, it is confusing. めんごめん、Thank the... you. This is the two of this a r u Hi. Is this kind of like how、um, Naru past tense, which is Natta, looks a lot like Nakata? And you go, like, which one is it? Is it past nine? Right? It, Or is it, it past it... Naru? You just have to get used to.、Um, The extra one hiragana character. This this takes time.、はい、um, Do you know what m i o b o y means? Like, m i o b o y ga d u z o b o e is b o e r u o b o e r u hi. o b o o b o e r u m i o b o e r u o b o Isn't o b o to remember? Yes, o b o e r u is to remember, correct. So, miyoboy means,、uh, miyoboy ga aru means you look familiar. I see you, and it makes my brain go, I remember you. So, there exists a sight, <laughs> there exists remembering you based off of sight. Miyoboy ga aru. Which is here, this is a word one right here, fits really well underneath your non conscious idea. He did not decide, I'm going to remember what you look like. This right here is a passive thing. What happened is that suddenly he sees his face and his brain goes, I saw it. I remember it. I've seen it before. Mi oboe ga aru. But yeah, oboe ru means to remember, to memorize. Ga aru zo. You look familiar. You look familiar. There is a familiar.、Oh, yeah. That's the perfect example of how this trans- thing can't directly translate. Mi oboe ga aru. I have. A remembrance from your face. I guess it would be like, I see you, I have a remembrance, would be like the closest you could tra- translate that. Sounds、Hi. like nonsense.、Um, so, oboeru, what it meant what? Oboeru remembers. Perfect. Does the study, what's funny? It、uh, does mean to、what's、memorize. The- To study is also a boeru, isn't it? Not really. It's to memorize, which is related to studying. And in certain contexts, you would say, I need to memorize this, right? Like, I need to memorize my vocabulary. It's a little bit different than saying, I need to study my vocabulary, right? But you would both use those in the same context. Like, oh, I have all this vocabulary I need to memorize. Oh, I have all this vocabulary I need to study. You can see how there's contexts where you use both interchangeably, even though the meaning is slightly different. Oboeru means to memorize. Hi. Oboeru, to remember. Hi. Eru. Ah, it's a ga. Hi. Ga, ga. verb.、Um, I think you can use it with O, in which. <laughs> Maybe. Um, oh boy, do 
You're right, it is a ga verb, so you'd use... Oh, no, you can use o with it. Koto boi... Boi do. Yeah. You can use ah. o with it. Right? I remember something. I remember him well. So it does mm. take o, because um, the idea is that you are forcing memorizing. But oboi ga adu is not. That's a noun. Um, at some point, you set to memorizing something. Um, and mi oboi changes more passive, saying now the memory has come back. You wouldn't say like oboi do on its own to mean like, oh, I just remembered. It's instead it's to commit to memory when it's a verb. Hi. It's an active verb. Oh. When it's what when it's the oh it's an active form. I know. There's effort going on. Yes. You're forcing yourself to memorize your vocabulary or memorize someone's name or to memorize a certain situation that's going on. You're committing it to memory. Uh, what's the stem form of meo boy do? Sorry, a boy do, not me. <laughs> Remember my name. Oh. <laughs> oh, eh. Hi, oh boy. Oh boy. Perfect. So, oh boy on its own as a noun means a memory or a an experience. Meo boy. Sorry, I keep on saying me boy because it's not me boy right over here. You're familiar. Um, so yeah, oh boy is just a memory Good. or <laughs> recognizing. <Fun. something. laughs> um, so let's go read our final line of the day. We have a lot of words here about the main character being very confused. Uh, eto? Eto. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Kaze. So, you know. And here, look how ignorant he is. He can't even write the Kaze in kanji because <laughs> now it's from Khan perspective. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly why it's like that. Kaze? <laughs> like two sentences ago, uh, uh, and nobody was definitely using kanji when yeah. he was talking it's definitely um, the funnest thing about japanese is their ability to like switch between that <laughs> writing with kanji yeah, and then definitely. switching it out to <laughs> convey meaning this hey. country bumpkin he doesn't know <laughs> the kanji um kaze to you know wa uh fuite kuru kaze no koto kaze ni wa shouju atatte iru kedo he explaining. Right. Uh, he he could he could that do you cut oh He's shaking his head sideways. He's shaking no. He's he's uh he turning sideways right. horizontal. He shook his head no. Okay. So Let's see what he say here. The kaze to you no wa. So here to you is in between kaze and no. So it's Hi. saying that the thing is described as being kaze. Mm, defined as kaze. Defined as kaze. Instead of koto is to you no. Well, the koto is so down here. Saying... So you could have said to you koto here, and that would also that would be more correct. Um. Grammarly, this no here, I would argue, is grammatically incorrect. Um, but he's thinking this in real time. Uh, so he's defining, like, koto would be more grammatically correct in this um, context. So what is he here is the thing is the, the code. All right, the topic here is the code. Fuite kuru kaze no koto. The thing is that the wind was blowing. Hmm. You're, you're a little bit confused about how koto is like as like an idea. Um. So this koto here is ending the toyu no. So that's why I said toyu koto will be more correct here grammatically. Um. It just is how you define words. If you're defining the word kaze, you're going to have to end that definition with koto. That's how, how it works. Because toyu koto wa 
como koto des, right? It, it's just a way to envelop the definition of a word. So the thing that is known as kaze is kaze, right? Fuite, fuite kuru kaze, that's it? That's, that's the thing. So the koto here is just the thing, this thing that we're talking about, this no that we define as kaze with katakana. Is that the kaze that fuite kuru is? Uh, he doesn't know which kaze it is. He doesn't know what the kaze is. He's he's asking clarification. Well, he's thinking um, that. So he says, uh, by kaze, kaze, are you talking about the wind that blows? Are, are you talking I... about the wind that blows? Um, are you talking about the winds that blows? Okay, so... Um, okay, so next is... Uh, Kaze ni wa shochu atatte iru kedo. Um, despite it's always blowing, despite the winds always hitting. That's a close guess. So kedo does have a little bit of a despite meaning in it, but it's not really used like the word despite. It's the more like the word but in a so like kind of way. It's it's hard to translate because of that in English. So he's saying, even though, would be better in this context, I guess, he, he is saying, even though wind is constantly hitting me, it's constantly touching me, what the, he, he, he could de do you koto. So there, there is a contradiction here, but despite is too aggressive. That'd be like nano ni. You'd have to like have a more, more, um, Stronger word. Kido is very weak. And the spite Hi. is aggressive. Um, it say that atte iru kido hikute do you kodo. Is it the thing that is constantly hitting and pulling? Hmm. No. <laughs> we we ended this with kido, right? Kido is the end of the sentence. This sentence is done. This clause is done. This has nothing to do with that sentence other than the fact we have a contradiction between the two sentences. This sentence is hiku te, right? Toyu, douyu koto. Hiku toyu no wa douyu koto is what the second clause says. So the second clause say. Is it the thing that pulls? Where did the word thing right. come? What what where where do you so you have the word thing? Is it the thing? Kot How is that in the sentence? Okay, okay, let me break this down. Sorry, money. Okay, so <laughs> here we have toyu. It's saying the the event or the thing is defined as what? Hikute. Yes. So hikute is the te form of hik hiku. It's not the te form of anything. Hiku is dictionary form. Ah, he te hiku is dictionary form. Te here is is quoting it. So, to you. Okay, hiku pu hikute is quoting pu. So. He's saying, is it the event of pulling? No. <laughs> this is saying the definition of hiku. Hiku equals do you koto. What equals it? Right, that's what we said. We got hiku, then we have to you, that is to define. Then we have what to define as koto, thing, right? So you have, so it says, what exactly do you mean by pull? The de hiku equals what do what is it? So the issue here, right, of course, so... is that to i you is hard. We don't have really a direct translation to English. All you can really say it's a defining word. That's why I'm writing the really weird equal signs. Kaze equals thing. Fuitiru kaze thing? So it says, is the definition of kaze no? 
and the no is filled in as the thing that bl that blows. So is kaze the wind that blows? And here we have pool. What is pool? He, do he doesn't even have an idea what this what means. What what does pool equal? Pool equals Ice. equals what thing? So he and he's saying, he's saying equals in the, the context of the wind is always hitting me, but what do you mean by pool? The wind is always hitting me, but what do you mean by pool? Right. Oh boy, I got nine all day. I don't understand. I don't remember. Right. I have no memory of what the heck do he's talking about. So I have, I have no memory. idea. It's great. I should... That means he doesn't know if he ever had a cold before or not. Right. He has no idea what this is. Pulling a cold. So um, in the English version, it's to catch a cold, right? So he's like, I've been cold lots of times in my life. It's freezing right now, for example. But to catch a cold? Like, like in Bala? What do you mean to catch coldness? Right? So... I so the catch a cold in English versus to um, pull wind in Japanese. So it's kind of fun that the there's. Can, can we start this sentence for review? Yeah, we'll do it next time.